Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Sent Road to Glory. And today, sadly, we didn't get ourselves Galaxy or Baron Davis, so that means tomorrow is going to be a crazy day one way or another. Because in the pack market right now, best of 2 k on Super Packs expiring. The Pantheon Packs and the Retro Packs, all three of those are expiring tomorrow. So there's going to be something big. My best guess is going to be a New Year's set. Some form of a promo for the New Year's, because it is, of course, New Year's Eve tomorrow. And maybe a locker code with a chance at the diamond card, which is mentioned down here, which is the final card for Baron Davis. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, boys, but it's going to be a very good day. But as for today, they did drop the ninth player needed for Galaxy Opal Vault Chamberlain. Season of giving packs with Pink Diamond, Bob Pettit, Diamond James Harden, Amethyst John Collins, and Ruby Davis Batons. It's one of, the, one of the worst sets of the year. Let's not sugarcoat it. It really is not a good set, but we'll take a look at all of those guys and see what price they are selling for. Aside from that, we actually have another pink diamond to add into the club. Another one. This week has been ridiculous. We've got 600 wins of Trip That Offline. We've got Michael Finley. We also got Wayne Embry. We've got Richard Jefferson from Trip That Online. And now we can add another one. So at least we've got something good to uh, pack in this video. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Daily streams, daily videos. And like I said, this week... It's going to be kind of crazy. Tomorrow's going to be a madness. Friday is then the final limited of the season. And then next Friday is season four. Already. I feel like I only got weighed yesterday. I feel like I've only just enjoyed my time not grinding XP. And uh, we're going to be back at it again next season. Um, and of course, a massive thank you to the goats of the, ta of the channel. I can't talk. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Andrew, Josh, Hammer, Milfshake, and Luke and Rohan, thank you guys so much for your support. So, we did get two new moment challenges today, if you guys are still in the XP game. 15 threes with a Bucks player in a single game, and 28 points with 2020 Julius Randle in a single game. And thankfully, I had Julius Randle, so we did go ahead and sell him, and we did make a nice little bit of profit. So, as for the agenda for the uh, new packs that came out today, you have got yourself 850 XP from Ruby Davis Batons. You have got yourself... Uh, oh god, 1200 XP with Amethyst John Collins, I think. Um, you've got yourself 2000 XP with Diamond James Harden, and then, um, yeah, 2450 XP with Bob Pettit. So quite a lot of XP coming through from the challenges today. And then there is a double vault event as well. So if you are still going for some of these prizes in the vault, it's a double vault event today, which is pretty cool. In Triple That Online, we are now 62 and 0. 62 and 0, and this is where our new addition has come from. We managed to get a pink diamond Larry Nance, and it was on, I think it was game 10 of a 10 and 0 run, and it was the first ball drop. Similar situation as to what happened with, with Richard Jefferson. We dropped our first ball for Richard Jefferson, we got him, we did it today, the first ball drop, and we got pink diamond Larry Nance. So 62 and 0, we've got Larry Nance, we've got Richard Jefferson, uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about that so we'll come around and open him up in just a second and then last night over on twitch we went ahead and did three games of domination so our tokens are flying up again 350 now not too bad and we're only four games away from completing historic and of course that gives us diamond rolando blackman which is not a good card at all but this last game here is going to get us 12 tokens these games get us 16 tokens each so in four games we're going to get 60 tokens that's not bad I'm down with that. So that'll put us back over 400. Not too shabby at all. Now, auction outcomes. We have picked up some flexible releases. And that is just in preparation for Baron Davis. So Baron Davis is free agent card, which is 96 rated. And obviously his uh, Galaxy Opal will be 97 rated. That card does not have flexible release. So it's not a guarantee that he's not going to have it on his Opal. But it's just kind of preparing. But my preparations do stop at silver. So bronze and gold, we're set, but silver, that ain't happening. That ain't happening, Chief. Uh, and then here are all our Jokic's from yesterday. So two more sold for the big boy money, and then the rest of them sold for not too much at all. And there's a Julius Randle down there as well. Now you might be thinking, why is there a Dominique there for 17,000? Why is there a Sleepy Floyd there for 1,700? Well, guys, you will notice that I opened up... All of those packs that 2K gave me from like months ago because I just could not be bothered to scroll past them every single time. 
So live on Twitch last night, we went ahead and opened them up, and obviously I didn't want to get anything out of them, because I've, if I got something, I'd have to just get rid of it, and it wouldn't really count as mine. So I didn't want anything, so in classic 2K fashion, I pulled a pink diamond. Not just any pink diamond, I pulled pink diamond Dominique Wilkins. What are the chances of that? My one good pull this year, and it's not even a card that I could keep. So we got him, and then uh, one lucky guy on stream, Claudius, I put it out for a snipe, 17,000, because if I put it out for like 500, then... Some other random dude would get it, but I put up a random amount so that somebody in the stream would be able to get him. They did, so Claudius got himself like an 80k profit, or made himself 80,000 MT right there from getting that card. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, like 20k MT, because this isn't my MT basically. And it just means now our pack section is clear, which I'm happy with. Um, so we've got some packs to open up here. We have got our three, uh, well, three games of domination, so two packs from each. I think we get badges in these. Do we get badges in these ones? I don't know if we do, actually. I don't think we do. Um, and then we've got a pink diamond to open up. So we've got a couple of these packs to get out of the way, which are always nice for consumables. But then we have got a pink diamond, and there he is. And it's actually not a bad card. I forgot what a card was like. I had a look at his stats earlier on today after we got him, because, like I said, I couldn't remember if he was good or not. He's actually not that bad. He's actually not that bad. He does need, you know, quite a few shooting badges to be sort of like really, really, really damn good, and obviously we're not going to do that. Uh, where does that Deluxe League pack come from? Daily Login. Daily Login today was a Deluxe League pack, which ain't too shabby. Right, one more pack here, then the Deluxe League pack, and then another Pink Diamond. So that means, guys, this season we have completed Triple the Offline and the Vault as well. We've completed the Vault. We've got Jeff Malone and we've got Wayne Embry. And we've completed Triple the Online with not only a 62-0 run at the moment, but also the fact that we've managed to get ourselves Antoine Walker, Richard Jefferson, and now we can add to that equation Pink, Diamond, Larry, Nance. So we have oh, Season 3, guys. What an absolute incredible time it's been, man. Compared to Season 1, well, we barely did anything. Season 3, we've completed everything. Insane. Power forward from the Suns, number 22, Pink, Diamond, Larry, Nance. Very nice. Welcome to the club, bro. Welcome to the club. So we'll go ahead and take a look at his stats. So now we've only got five cards left, which are all just duplicates. Uh, so we've got two duplicate diamond cards. Not bad. So as I mentioned, these are all just sitting in the exchange for when 2K add in a diamond requirement that is an original owner diamond, which you know they're going to do. You know they're going to do. They had five Amethyst uh, original owners, so you know it's going to happen with the diamond cards in the not-too-distant future. Uh, oh, what's this? I mean, I guess we could lock in for Bob Dandridge. I mean, you can't sell these cards, can you? No, you can't. So we might as well. And then we'll lock in for whoever that was. Larry Hughes. Okay. I'm never, I repeat, never going to Evo these cards up. Um, but there we go. I guess we're... Um, like many, 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 many months late on getting these cards done. But I guess better late than never. We haven't even completed current domination yet. Uh, so at least we're making some uh, inroads into historic. Right, where is Pink Diamond Larry Nance then? Where is Pink Diamond Larry Nance? Look at this guy. Look at this top line. Ooh, look at this top line, man. All from season two, three. All from season three. Not bad at all. So the brand new one for today Pink Diamond, Larry Nance. So 610, power forward, power, power forward, small forward. Really nice. Eight Hall of Fames, Rim Protector, Lob City Finisher, Pogo, Contact Finisher, and Showtime. Very nice. Gold Badges, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Box, Heart Crusher. Doesn't have Intimidator. He has it on silver, though. And he has Gold Quick First Step. So really nice badges. 83 driving layup, 95 driving dunk, 84 mid, 74 three. That's what I mean. His, his three ball's not the best. Uh, defensively, though... Incredible, 95 block, 92 interior D. Really nice rebounding, and then 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 6 foot 10, and 89 lateral quickness. It's not a bad card at all. It is not a bad card at all. He can hold the Puma up broad shoe. Do I want to put three point shoe on him? I don't know about that one, Chief. And then uh, he's got the six badge slots down here, or five, because we could upgrade uh, Intimidator on him. But what would I want to put on him? He can, like I said, he can hold all the shooting badges, which I guess he'd need, but. I don't think we're going to be doing that on him, but we may use him every now and then just for a little bit of fun because he's going to be a dunking machine with that 95 driving dunk. So, still no word on this, guys. Still just a mystery player. Still we wait. Uh, but if you are going for Galaxy Chamberlain, 
you now know where nine cards come from. And in terms of a, a final little price, you're looking at 35k for Jason Williams, roughly 200k for Jason Tatum, 235k for Embiid. So straight away, a 300k for what? Energy, 40k for old man Dirk. Uh, who do we have, have here? 50k ish for Jason Richardson. 40k. Wow, he's so cheap. 40k ish for Walter Davis. Devon Booker coming in at about 50k. And then the brand new Bob Pettit. And ain't no way he's going to be going for 300k. But you're still looking, guys. Probably about a mil. If you get change from a mil, you've done well. Um, but yeah, Galaxy Purple Wheel is going to be one expensive boy when he drops. And uh, oh, actually, before we jump into this, I can tell you guys that that Galaxy Purple Wilt Chamberlain will be coming on Monday. Next Monday, Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain, because these packs have got an expiration date of four days, 20 hours at the time of recording this video. And that takes us through till Monday. So Monday is Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain. So they're not letting people have him in time for the 250k tournament. It is going to be on Monday. But anyway, let's get back to the new cards from today. And let's start with Ruby Kian. And it is going to be Davis Batan. So 6 foot 10, catch and shoot, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, range extender, and steady shooter, and silver, bronze, dead eye, bronze. 84 driver layup, 95 3, 88 mid range. Not really any passing, not really any defense, not really any speed. It's it's a sniper, and that that's it. It's a sniper, and that is your lot so not the best card and as i don't think i've said this but in this set out of the four players nine defensive badges in total and six of them are on this guy and with this john collins so in the other three cards there's three defensive badges it's um it's not the strongest defensive set in the world let's say say that but anyway six nine john collins he does have hall of fame showtime very nice catch and shoot relentless uh, rebound chaser contact finisher not the most important badges in the world. 87 driver layup's nice. 95 driving dunk, very nice. 84 mid, 87 three. So it was a stretch four. Maybe he'd be okay, but then you come down here and it's like, oh, maybe not then. 57 lateral quickness. 65 acceleration. 74 interior defense. 49 perimeter defense. Like, it's just brutal, guys. It's just brutal. And we move on to, I swear, who's paid this and why? Who has paid? Why? Why would you do this to yourself? You don't deserve that MT. So I'm glad you've lost it. Uh, we've got the beard. A diamond beard. Two Hall of Fame badges. 34 gold. And as you would expect, no defensive badges at all, I don't believe. Um, does he have range? He does. He's got range, dead eye, uh, all of the other shooting badges that you would expect. 90 driving layout, 84 driving dunk, 84 mid. Uh, 90 ball control, 79 perimeter D with no defensive badges. It's not ideal. And 79 lateral quickness. It's also not ideal. There's so many better options out there than this Diamond James Harden card. It's just kind of a card that's... It's just there. It's just there. And the same can be said, sadly, of Pink Diamond Bob Pettit. Now, in previous two Ks, this guy has been incredible. 2K19, this guy had an Opal in the token market, and it was so damn good. He had an Opal last year as well. And he's in this year with a Pink Diamond, and uh, he comes in with 10 Hall of Fames, 11 gold and one of the hall of fames is range extender he does have hall of fame range extender he's got gold dead eye uh, gold steady which is a bit of an l uh, but a 77 driving layout with a 75 75 driving light. so he ain't driving on nobody he's shooting 93 mid 93 three great he's not handling the ball he's not really playing much defense with 82 interior d and 49 perimeter d so if you play him at power forward and he gets stuck on the perimeter you're screwed he's got great rebounding you see the 80 speed and acceleration, you think, well, that's not too bad. And then you see that, though. 49 lateral quickness. Derek Coleman has worse. Christian Leitner has worse. And then you're getting into Ruby cards. Like, 49 lateral quickness. That is brutal. I don't know who decided to put that on him, but uh, that kind of ruins the card, really. It's, it's a card that can shoot well and rebound. He's just a shorter Dirk. He's a shorter Dirk. Like, yeah, he's quick, but as soon as you start trying to move laterally, you got absolutely no chance. So, it's definitely a bit of a, a damp squib of a day of content today. A few XP challenges, but nothing too crazy. And uh, it is all about preparing for tomorrow, Friday, 
this weekend, next Monday, and then the final few days of Season 3 into Season 4 next Friday. So that's going to do it from me today, boys. Another Pink Diamond added in to the club, and uh, that just shows that we have absolutely smashed Triple Threat this season. And uh, feels good, man. Feels good. So hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.